Let's create VPN server on our Synology NAS. The first step to do that is we need to go to package center and install VPN server you can see on the left corner here. I have already installed but I wanted to show you from where you can go and install. So we are in the package center and let's find VPN server here. Right there, I see somewhere. VPN server, it's already installed. This is the first step. The second step is to configure our router. To do that, we go to control panel and we go to network. Within network, sorry, external access. Within external access, we go to router configuration and we can click on setup router. We run through this tab. We can just click here on start. It will check our router and all the settings that it is required. Even though I have a warning here, it works perfectly fine for me and I have safely ignored this. Okay, we go to next and we just click on done. The next step is to open up our port for routing, okay? This is basically a router port, local port, and router port. In this case, we just click on create here, built-in application, we click on next, and we find, scroll down, and we find all the applicable VPN server. You will see a list of all this port you see on the screen behind, all of this port. Just checkbox all of those and just click on done. That should do it. So here I'll do apply and I'll click on OK here. It'll do whatever the setting require. Now you can see the connection test was successful. You can see OK for all of this. We can do one more time. This is the second step. And the third one, we go to DDNS, add we can do provider is Synology and here host name also VPN user okay and test connection but before I do that I'm going to get a certificate from let's encrypt and set it as a default unable to register the IP address to VPN user via DDN a service okay test get encrypt All right, now you can see I changed the host name here and now the task connection is normal. So everything is done here. I'll click on OK. The settings may affect, OK, that's fine. All right, the window is refreshed. So we go back to control panel. Within control panel, we go to external access and we go to DDNS. You can see the DDNS is host name is here and status is normal. So what we, the next step is we go to VPN server here. We go to L2TP and we keep everything um, as is. We do not want to change anything here. Just enable here and put a pre-shared key here. I'm just going to keep it simple and put it password. Do the same thing here. I'm going to come back later and delete this thing or create a new pre-shared key here, apply. All the setting here in VPN server is completed. We create our user. So we to create a user, we go to control center, control panel. Within control panel, we go to users and group and we just click on create here. We can say VPN user. Just put a password, but it has to be a secured one because it doesn't allow us to put like some random password here, which is not secured one. I'm going to skip over all of this thing because these are not necessary for 
setting up VPN server. Everything is done, the VPN user is created. Now let's jump to our iPhone and set up the VPN. In the settings, first go to settings, settings, search for VPN. So click on the second one, VPN and device management. Once you are here, what you can do is click on VPN. And as you can see before, I have already tried this, but I'm going to delete this VPN user. And I'm going to go over and do it again. So here we are going to add a new VPN configuration type. We are going to change it to L2TP. And description, you can name it anything. I'm going to keep it simple and put VPN user. The server is the DDNS that we created, which you can find it by by going into control panel, external access and DDNS. I have it handy. So we named it VPN user hyphen test test at Synology. Oh, sorry, it's dot Synology dot me. Okay, now that we have a server, our account is the username, that is VPN user we created. Password is the password for the user. So I believe I did capital P password. Password one two. And the secret is the secret key within the VPN server. When we enabled L2TP IPsec, we did create a pre-shared key. So that is the th key we are going to input here, which was password as well in my case. Now, I'm already on the Wi-Fi. I'm going to disable the Wi-Fi. Done. As you can see, the VPN user was created. We are going to click that select VPN user and we are going trying to connect. Notice here, the top VPN was updated. Now it's connected. So we can validate that by going into VPN server and by going into connection list, which I'll show you in a moment. VPN server, you go to connection list and you can see the uptime for this VPN user is one minute and 29 second. We can refresh and we can see the time upgraded there. So now you can see that how we can set up VPN server on our Synology NAS drive and create a VPN user on our iPhone to connect. This is very useful when you are traveling around the world and you need access to your personal VPN. So you are safe when your data is being transported, for example, accessing your banking accounts and other security stuff. Thank you for watching my video. Please rate and comment and subscribe below.